Have you ever lived in a new house and felt like you were intruding somehow? This young woman certainly did. And she didn't feel just like an intruder. She felt that every second of the way, there was someone trying to push her out. Someone that was trying to be undeniably the man of the house. Do you believe in ghosts? I didn't used to. But all that has changed now. And you'll probably change your mind too. Once I tell you what I saw, it was 2001. I was living with the kids in a small apartment. <sighs> Could you imagine? Anyway, I knew we couldn't stay there long. I knew we had to find someplace bigger. But it really didn't take me long to find that big old house. I remember going to the open house. God, that place was beautiful. Even now, I can't deny that. Big open rooms, spiral staircase. He even had a backyard for the kids. It had everything. So, of course we jumped on it. It was a few days before anything odd happened. Looking back, I wonder if he was just trying to draw us in a little closer before a series of assaults. The first Sunday in the house, we had set aside to do yard work. <laughs> this was a huge deal to the kids because they had never had a backyard before. I asked my youngest to go grab a hose from the basement, but it had only been a few minutes when he... <coughs> when I found him, he wasn't hurt. Not. Physically, anyway. He looked absolutely terrified, shaking the way he was. I asked him what was wrong, and he said, I don't know, but it was big. For the next few days, nothing else happened. The Sunday after the kids' last day of school, we were watching TV. I was sitting in my chair and the kids were laying on the floor with a bowl of popcorn. I turned my head to check the time and that's when I saw him. Standing in the doorway was the form of a bearded man, his face angry and his body like swirling black smoke. Then he evaporated into nothing. We didn't return to the house until that Friday, and nothing else happened for the next week. I was starting to think that it was a one-time ordeal. Unfortunately, I was very wrong. Hello. Hey, stop kidding around. It's okay, Mom. It's just the kids. I was about to yell again when my daughter said she was in the living room and the boys were asleep. And that's when the door wouldn't stop rattling. 